Netherlands and Zimbabwe have been long-time trading partners with a shared love of agriculture. Dutch farming methods and technology are considered the most advanced worldwide and have allowed a country that is smaller than Marshallland West to export $100 billion of fresh produce annually. This was made possible through decades of research, innovation, and collaboration, the three pillars of Dutch knowledge economy. The Netherlands is also a major hub for fresh produce entering the European market, currently absorbing around 70% of Zimbabwe's fresh produce exports. In this video, you will hear about some of the ways the Netherlands and Zimbabwe are working together to improve agriculture and trade between the two countries, while ensuring more sustainable farming practice and better livelihoods for all. When I speak to Zimbabweans from all walks of life, I see that just like in the Netherlands, agriculture is also part of this country's social and economic DNA. I'm not surprised. The space, the land, the climate are also favorable. It is a natural and exciting area for cooperation and supports our vision for trade, not aid. Agriculture can be a pathway to many goals economic growth, but also empowerment of women and youth, and through nutrition, better social security. How we feed ourselves is vital to the well-being of humanity, but also the survival of the planet, which is changing due to human activity, including the huge footprint of outdated food production systems. And so the Dutch Embassy is working with various local partners to advance the agricultural sector in Zimbabwe and to increase trade. Currently, the Netherlands absorbs around 70% of Zimbabwe's $100 million of fresh produce exports. A substantial figure, but one that we know can be much higher given the huge untapped potential in Zimbabwe. Even among the existing produce, peas, berries, macadamias and flowers, there's lots of room for growth. Among the main programs supported by the Netherlands in Zimbabwe is a partnership between the Dutch Senior Experts Network, PUM, and Zimbabwe's export development organization, Zimtrade. Through an MOU signed in 2016, more than 200 senior Dutch experts have visited Zimbabwe to support companies of all sizes in many different sectors. PUM's mission is to support mainly SMEs in developing countries to solve problems, to grow and to access new markets. We signed an MOU with uh, PUM in uh, 2016 to, to basically give technical interventions to our SMEs and some of the growing companies. And uh, to date I think we have had more than 200 experts that have visited Zimbabwe and they were staying on the farms, they were staying at the companies, giving them technical assistance in terms of how to export and also improve their operational efficiencies. These are guys who not only do workshops, but they come and spend time on site teaching you what to do. And they will also link you to the market. For us, we started going to Fruit Logistics in Berlin with the assistance of PUM. And since then, we have not stopped. And that is one of the biggest spheres that gives our horticultural farmers highest returns when they participate on it. So if you want to focus on return on investment, I would encourage you to work with PUM experts. A recent success achieved through PUM was with a group of 40 small-scale pineapple farmers in Chipinge who have successfully obtained organic certification for their produce. PUM experts supported this process through technical advice and creating market linkages to the Netherlands where these sweet certified organic pineapples attract premium prices. Through this program, families in Resitu Valley have been able to send their children to school and improve family income. The Azo, uh, this, is, this was the epicenter of Saklon Idai and uh, hope was lost. Uh, people thought nothing could really come out of the Azo after Saklon Idai hit. And I think for us, we came in to say we want to teach them to fish, not to fish for them, you know. 
and uh, we went through an exercise to get them organically certified and in the process we had the experts from PUM that assisted us in getting access to markets and also doing things like uh, soil testing up until we got uh, the pineapple farmers organic certified and they even now started exporting uh, pineapples, organic certified pineapples to, to, to the Netherlands. And the good thing is the farmers, literally they were getting around 25 cents if I'm not mistaken per kg. But after organic certification with this program, the price went to around 79%, it literally trebled. So it, despite exporting to the Netherlands, but also in terms of welfare, the, the farmers got uh, a lot of return for, for, for themselves. I think, you know, PUM is an expect that you would normally get for a thousand a day and you are literally getting it from, at a subsidized rate by the assistance of the Dutch government. Plans are already underway to increase the number of farmers in the scheme by 200 in 2023, including more women. The Netherlands government is committed to gender equality all around the world. In 2021, a PUM representative for women in Zimbabwe was appointed to increase the uptake of PUM consultants among women-led businesses. I'm delighted to be the PUM representative for Zimbabwe working with the Zimtrade, PUM and the Netherlands Embassy to increase the uptake of PUM consultants among female entrepreneurs. I was among the first people to benefit from the PUM uh, when he started working in Zimbabwe in 2016. Dutch experts worked with me at Securico and at my farm. Their advice was invaluable and helped me grow my businesses. Since the experts say volunteer their time and their flights are covered by the Netherlands, this is low cost, high impact opportunity for Zimbabweans to take up especially women, as we do away with gender disparity in agriculture and the economy. The Netherlands is also providing financial support to small and medium enterprises in developing countries. For example, in Zimbabwe, the dairy sector has benefited from funding from the Netherlands Enterprise Agency through a facility that supports Dutch companies doing business abroad. This includes testing, new to market equipment and investment feasibility studies in foreign markets. My small company, located in Kitai Estates, Norton, obtained second-hand but very good quality milking machines from the Netherlands. It has allowed us to automate our daily operations and we have become much more efficient in our milking processes. We actually obtained financial assistance and support from the Netherlands to automate and also we have become much more efficient. We can now focus on growth as we are much more efficient in whatever we do in milk processing. It's not just SMEs leveraging Dutch support. Bigger companies are also seeing their businesses grow through Dutch markets and support, such as the regular KLM cargo flights from Harare to Schiphol Airport. This is a vital link in the cold chain for local flower producers entering the huge European market. The Netherlands is the gateway to the EU and a distribution hub for fresh produce, especially flowers, with a footprint across Europe. I'm the general manager at Luxaflor Roses out in Concession and we have about 23 hectares under plastic and we solely produce uh, roses for export to the European market. We export about 35 million stems on an annual basis and employ about 500 people on a daily basis. We are accredited with MPS, Global Gap uh, and even Fair Trade. These licenses allow us to be able to ship to the European market, specifically to the Netherlands uh, market. Um, we have a, a closed cold loop cold chain from the farm to the airport 
and from the airport we use the Royal Dutch Airlines KLM to get our product to the Netherlands. The reason why we go to the Netherlands is it's the hub uh, for cut flowers and other ornamental in, uh, items. So the Netherlands is the biggest distribution center for uh, cut flowers and ornamental products in uh, the European Union. Uh, for us it's key uh, that we are able to ship directly into Amsterdam. Uh, we have the advantage that KLM does come here three times a week and uplifts about 30 tons of cargo a shipment. Uh, the route to market is fairly quick um, and it allows us to access uh, the other European countries through the distribution hub of the Netherlands. Research and innovation are vital to increasing output and adapting agriculture to meet market demands and the challenges of climate change. At the Green Impact Center at Jibero College, Dutch companies with local partners have created a knowledge hub for farmers. Using demo plots, field days, and classroom-based training on the latest methods and technologies, the Green Impact Center is helping all kinds of farmers to increase quantity and quality of their produce while using fewer inputs with a lower environmental impact. Welcome to the Gain Impact Center here at the Ibis Farm at the Chibero College of Agriculture in Mondoro. The Green Impact Center is a horticulture center of excellence which came about with five private Dutch companies. Also, local companies are participating in this project. Continuously, the global climate is changing and we are experiencing quite erratic rainfalls and different variations according to locations. So we thought it would be good for farmers to now adapt to producing in a climate smart way and sustainable way using the littlest resources that they have to their most effectiveness. So this is quite important. Dutch companies bring one of the most effective ways in which we can practice agriculture, including their expertise, know-how, quality inputs, at the same time, quality knowledge. So we all put this together in order to help the farmers on how they can practice agriculture most effectively, efficiently, and sustainably. Since 2020, when we began, it's been excellent. We've managed to uh, train more than 500 people, including professionals, farmers, women and children, everyone who is participating in agriculture, and introduce them to this climate smart agriculture way of producing vegetables and fruits mainly. When I think of agriculture in Zimbabwe, I think potential, potential, potential. With the right policies and economic fundamentals, Zimbabwe's agriculture can become huge. And the Netherlands is here to support this development and as a trading partner and route into the EU market. We especially want to support a move into high value crops that are grown with minimal impact on the planet and to make the markets accessible to smaller growers, especially women and youth. Feeding 8 billion people is one of the challenges of our time. And it's so important that cooperation between Zimbabwe and the Netherlands contributes to this goal. 